Balalo. Balalo Union. Hey guys, what's up? Just practicing saying this stupid army composition's name for today's video. What's going on guys, Power Bang, welcome to the video. It is on Balalolunian. Ah, I don't know, all these names, they always get me every time. Uh, this one's especially hard though. Anyways, air attacking without CC troops is kind of the theme for the day, guys. I am uh, in the process of trying to grind up my Town Hall 11 account, which means a lot of farming, a lot of getting raids in, and quite often when I have time to play, it's super, super late at night. So what I wanna do is show you guys a strategy that you have been requesting that I use quite a bit. So I'm just kind of showing you an at-a-glance look here at my Titan 2 League farming and essentially uh, the bases that I run into up here. So the goal is, look at the army composition first of all. I've got 20 balloons and 8 baby dragons. Uh, to go along with that, I've got 2 lava hounds in the front and not loading a CC so I'm short the clan castle troops, I'm short one extra spell. So I'm not really expecting to get three stars here. I just kind of like to pick up the two star, uh, get to 70% if at all possible, and uh, take out all the loot in the base. So that's kind of the goal here. So what I'm doing is going in trying to get an air defense taken out, and it does not look like my queen's getting super far with that. Uh, but we send in the Lava Hounds in front of the balloons and then back that up with Baby Dragons. And the Baby Dragons are kind of acting like the minions, uh, uh, how the minions normally do. Except for when they get to the core, they're a lot beefier. They have a lot more, uh, you know, I don't know, uh, stamina. <laughs> get it? Um, but again, I notice here on this raid that my Warden is on ground. And I'm like, oh, that's fantastic. I just got done doing a bunch of Valkyrie attacks. Um, from the last video again guys. I used a clone spell and look at late in the raid I'm able to generate seven brand new balloons seven I did go with the clone spell uh, the other day when I asked you guys that in the video and look at how many balloons there are There is no way they're getting taken down by the end couple backside baby dragons there not only to distract the wizard tower uh, But also just just wreck the base and do some damage so ends up first raid here getting that three star tons of balloons left over granted This was a town hall 10 but again you can't really choose what you attack. Now let's look at a stronger Town Hall 11 here. This is a near max base and he's got level 40 heroes, 20 warden. And let's watch here what we do. Now my goal was to, to make a funnel there with the baby dragon, cause the king to go through the wall. The whole goal here is to pick up the air defense with the heroes. And then what you wanna do is come at the other side basically, uh, where you're gonna be able to come to two air defenses at the same time so your hounds can tank uh, more for the balloon. So you can see I got my air defense taken down. I'm going to go ahead and hit the ability on my queen. She's going to take out uh, these archer towers here and the sweeper, which is actually perfect. Uh, so we get two more archer towers there, the sweeper, and a whole chunk of the base is down. Now at this point, uh, we're coming from the corner here, and I wanted to do this. I was going to come from the side, but that queen was too far outside of the base, and I felt like I was going to drag her too far away uh, from the baby dragons here. You can watch the baby dragons just kind of go to work on her and yeah they you know they end up you know losing one but we do get that taken out and then we drop a poison spell there for all of those skelly traps holy cow cloning up the balloons and unfortunately we cloned two baby dragons as well uh so that wasn't really intentional but hey it's gonna work out for uh okay anyway what, what i wanted to do was have more balloons go to the core unfortunately we just we just didn't get that but we were able to drop the rage spell there and just kind of power through while the balloons kind of went around to the outside. So that clone spell, uh, for me, I like it because it gives you flexibility in your raid to see where the loons are getting thin and where you might need more of them. Uh, and in that situation, you know, you're able to go ahead, drop that, and uh, replicate those balloons. So essentially, that's where it dies off. We got the 62% though. And you guys can see the loot. This is uh, very, very quickly loads up on gold. Um, and then also the elixir isn't all that bad, uh, but with those baby dragons, it is a little bit more stressful on elixir than it is your regular, uh, Laloon. Now, the dark elixir stacks up pretty quickly. Now, in this raid, all I'm trying to do is take out this air defense right here. This is my goal, and then hopefully get the queen as well. I wanted to break in here, but unfortunately my funneling just wasn't enough. The king wanted to go around the corner to get that, uh, that dark elixir. Uh, drill and the queen's gonna have to ultimately beat through the wall so we'll kind of speed up through that she's in gonna use the ability and we do take out the um, air defense so everything's looking pretty good so far now it's just a matter 
of getting in there. This is a you know a decent Town Hall 11 base. The the point defenses and whatnot are at Town Hall 9 level, so it's not super developed, but it's also not a slouch of a base either. So behind the the loons in come the uh, the baby dragons here, not the minions for once. And then we've got our ground or our ground warden. That's what we should call him is the ground warden for sure. The grand warden is now set to air, and as we go into the base, we're gonna go ahead and drop the uh, the ability there. There we go. Here goes the balloons getting the eagle artillery taken out. Now here's the the benefit of this. Now you see how the balloons are getting just beat on by the queen. Look at this one v one with the baby dragon. Look who wins. And that was even with an Inferno Tower on that baby dragon as well. Um, a lot more fortitude in the, the middle of these bases where you don't kill the queen. Again, guys, I'm not using a CC. If I was, I would have more flexibility to use a little bit more of my army up front to take out the queen, take out an air defense, get the clan castle taken care of. But these baby dragons are actually doing pretty freaking good. Not bad at all. Uh, unfortunately, we lose the last couple of balloons here simply before uh, you know we could we could get the rest of this base done. But the archer towers are split. There's two on this side, two up top. So we ultimately just run out of time, is what happens. Uh, but we do make it through the base, get all of the loot again. Check out the loot gained there. Um, looks like almost 800,000, uh, or actually 700,000. I I can't add good and stuff. <laughs> almost uh, almost 800,000 when we're like at 705. Uh, no big deal. So anyways, 95% uh, there on this Town Hall 11. Not bad at all. So let's go ahead and watch one more here. And you guys, uh, let's just watch this one. There we go. So this is another Town Hall 10, it looks like. And what are we going to do? Look at the exposed air defenses on this one. We can actually get two air defenses taken out if we funnel properly. Uh, you can see I'm going at the one on the bottom there with my queen. I used two baby dragons up front to help not only with distracting a naked queen walk, but also doing some funneling here. So you see I use the ability, get in, take out the air defense, everything looking good. And now I've got a nice little funnel created for my king to go from this building to this building, to this building, to this building, and then ultimately over here. Knowing the king, he will be stupid and go through the wall, but at least the barbarians will be there to help take out the base. Now as he goes in, we want to make sure that we're dropping in some more baby dragons around the side to help. And then we got to figure out where to go in with our balloons, probably from the top is what I'm thinking, from the to go at the other two air defenses. <laughs> So here we go, a couple balloons get used up uh, in advance to take out these uh, you know, point defenses that are exposed. And just like that, everything is good to go. Now at this point, it is time for the balloons. So here we go, let's see, uh, here they come in a line from the left side of this base, Grand Warden down. Here comes the Lava Hounds. Now we do lose two balloons on that left side of the air defense before the Lava Hound gets in front, just due to its proximity to the edge of the map. Pretty tough there. Uh, but here comes the Haste Spell on the right. I used the clone spell in the middle of this base as I felt like there weren't enough uh, balloons going in there. And everything is actually kind of heading to the left. Now, th the best part about this, guys, watch this rage spell that comes down. The goal was to encompass the balloons their whole way around the core here. And I drop it. So look at the shadows. They are just barely outside that rage. Fail rage. I, I do get back in it here. And I, and I, I'm able to utilize it. But that was just a fail rage. The goal was to have them zooming around in it the whole time. But it's not going to matter. Honestly, this group of baby dragons right there, there's like five or six of them, uh, just doing work in the core right now. And my loons, check out the uh, Inferno, is completely occupied with baby dragons. And only one beam is able to be freed up for the balloons. So the balloons pretty easily just kind of cruise through the rest of this base. Not bad at all. And the baby dragons backing that up are just going to power through it, guys. So this is a tactic that I've been using... Um, I don't like it as much as, you know, just straight Lalunian with, uh, with minions because that one's a little bit more balanced and I can keep up on my elixir better, but this is certainly easy and it, it doesn't really require a clan castle. Like for me late at night, a lot of times there isn't a lot of people online to donate to you or at least donate fast enough to where you're like not having to wait around and whatnot. So I choose to just raid without them and just go back to back to back raids, and that is where it's at. So we're going to sit in the clouds for just a minute here. I'm going to do one of these attacks live. I hope I have all of my stuff ready. I honestly don't know, uh, but we'll find out here shortly. This is the Bala... La... La... <sighs> Bala Loonian... Baby La... Baby Lava Loon? Baby Lava Loon? Yeah, I like that better. Baby Lava Loon. 
Lava Loon Babies. I don't know. Uh, you guys let me know what you want to call the army in the in the description or the, the comments down below, and I will let you all know. Hey, there we go. There's uh, It's not the best base in the world, but we will take it. So what we want to do is try to trim down uh, and pick up an air defense here. Now, I don't know if that's going to be possible, uh, but we can try. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to drop in uh, a little bit of a distraction here. We'll take that out, and then I'm gonna go here, and then we're gonna go through the wall is the idea. So before uh, the king actually starts taking fire, um, help him out with the queen, and he's gonna go through this wall here. Now, we are going to try to get through the wall and go to the air defense. It should, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I had to use the ability to get him through the wall. I, was feel I felt like he was gonna change targets, but he should go right to the air D. Which he does, and we're, we're cutting out a pretty good chunk of this one right now, guys. And I'm hitting the ability! Go! Oh, man, we almost died there. That was almost catastrophic. Okay, so we are going to go from this side over here. Get a nice little spread, and you can kind of see the deployment strategy there. And then we're going to go drop in some haste over here. And then as we go to the core, this is this is where it's going to get fun, ladies and gents. Let's go ahead and we're going to freeze the queen and the eagle. And we'll pop the... We're going to... Oh, yeah, look at that. We're going to go ahead and clone it up over here. I'm dropping the baby dragons. They're not wanting to work. But that is okay. So on the back side here, can we get through to the core here? That is the goal. I don't know if we'll get the two-star, guys. Um, we're going to have to have those baby dragons snap to the queen. Finally, that happens. They uh, they should be able to take her out and take the town hall out in the process. So there's an easy two, uh, just like that. And then we've got some follow-up troops here. The only thing left right now is this air defense, which is unfortunate, but whatever. We got the town hall. Baby dragons are still going. And again, guys, this is a maxed out, I mean, more or less besides the wizard towers. This is a maxed out town hall 11 right now. And we are doing like 80% damage, like really? You know, like that's insane to me uh, that we're getting this much uh, into a Town Hall 11 base with really not a lot of setup. You know what I mean? Like I got an air defense with my heroes, trimmed a little bit, and then basically just said, let's go! So guys, let me know if you like the, uh, the strat. Um, there may have been some other people that already covered this out there. Uh, that's probably why you guys were requesting it. Again, I haven't watched those videos, so I, I would give credit if I saw it somewhere, but I haven't. So this army may or may not match up with uh, what a lot of you guys are doing, but if you checked uh, the train menu, that's what I've been rolling with, guys. 20 balloons, 8 baby dragons, 2 lava hounds. As you can see, it cooks in 32 minutes. And if you're boosted, it cooks an eight. So that's pretty freaking good. Same thing with the spells. It's a really nice balance there between a full complement of spells and a full army. Um, so essentially, if you have your stuff boosted, uh, it's going to take you about, oh, eight minutes to have a full army. So not bad. That's why a lot of times I, I roll with no CC because I don't want to have to wait in order for my request to come back up. I just want to keep raiding and raiding and raiding. And as you can see against the near max Town Hall 11, um, we are taking them out with ease for two stars near, you know, almost 80%. Imagine if you added a CC to that, how powerful it would be. So guys, that's all I got for today. This is Power Bang. Slap the like button for me. If you're new here, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Yeah.